I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas. Hello, everyone. Uncle Charles Wallenberg back again with another fragrance review. Hey, your image, your image is also what you smell like, and you gotta smell good. So look into getting a good fragrance, a good cologne, perfume, whatever you want to call it. You gotta have it if you're gonna complete the look or your image is not just what you see, it's how you just completely perceive. How about that? So what we have today is the Spice Bergamot and Oris by Habibi New York. Now, I did a review on the Discovery set a couple months ago. I did a review on the Discovery set. And of course, they have six different samples for you. And within that sample, I chose the white Moroccan leather. I chose a white Moroccan leather. That was my choice. However, this white Moroccan leather, it, I think, was the best choice out of the Discovery set. It's more so for the warmer weather. And it, it's trying to get warmer. Is right now, right now we're in March. It's trying to get warmer, but I really haven't had the opportunity to, to wear it like I would want to. And what I've been doing is I have been wearing some of the samples of this Discovery set. The Spice, Bergamot, and Oris. This one is exactly what I was talking about when I was talking about being mature. This is a mature one. This is a strong, older gentleman's per, uh, fragrance. An older gentleman would like this probably a lot. I see myself maybe getting this, but back to the Discovery set. When I went through the Discovery set, the Spice Bergamot Oris was basically second place. It was second place, and then I have been wearing the different samples of this Discovery set, and I find myself going back to the Bergamot, uh, Spice Bergamot and Oris over and over again, and then I'm getting compliments. I've gotten more compliments from this particular fragrance more than any other fragrance, more than any other fragrance. So I was thinking, I was like, wow, I, maybe I should get that again. You know what? I don't have anything on right now. Let's put this on. This is what it looks like. Actually, this is the first time. This is the first time I've actually put this particular fragrance on. I mean, this bottle. I haven't used this bottle at all. I've been using the samples, and the the samples are strong enough where I don't. I'm not. I don't, I don't need to. Spray every heavy. single one of them, very very strong performers. The the scent lasts for hours, absolute hours, because I can smell them on my clothes later on. Then on top of that, they project really well, and the, the, fla the flavor, the scent is nice and sharp. You don't get any inkling of artificial scent. Let's, let's go over the the sense that you you want to hear what what goes into this. So what we have here the top notes of cardamom, bergamot, spice pepper, pepper, sage, citrus, citruses, and oris for the uh, 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 let's see here no the middle note the middle note is oris, lavender, geranium, cistus, incanus. I'm not familiar with that. I'm just reading. And then we have 
Tonka bean, cedar, and Haitian vetiver, and argwood, uh, agar wood, and that's that's oud. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, watching this video, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure you like. If you're not part of the family, make sure you subscribe so you can get the videos and watch the other other videos that are involved. And if you if you're really curious, I have another channel over on the other side called Charles Wallingford. It's simply called Charles Wallingford, where we cover different aspects that I, for some reason, I can't talk about. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped you out. Give Habibi, at the, at the very least, get this Habibi uh, discovery set. But one, my favorite, I think, may now be the Spice Bergamot and Oris. Though that white, uh-oh, <laughs> the white Moroccan leather was really, really good. I'm Uncle Charles Wallingford, just here to help.